creating web pages is easy. All you need is a good editor, and as explained in the previous video, HTML Kit is a good editor. And we're going to go into the bin directory. That's computer terminology for binary, and binary in computer terminology means program. And you need the application, so HTML Kit, and away we go. It's asking me would I like to create a new file and I'm going to say yes. Here is the new file. The file starts with a command that just tells the operating system that we're using HTML. Don't tamper with it, don't worry about it, that's just there. The real stuff starts where it says HTML. HTML is a markup language, hypertext markup language. And to put it simply, all that means is it's telling the browser how to lay out anything that we show it. HTML is easy to use. If you imagine that you're back in your play days at home and you took your toys out, your mum always told you to put your toys away. Well, that's exactly what you do with HTML. If you can remember that you have to put your toys away once you've played with them, then you've cracked HTML. So you'll see it starts with HTML and it ends with slash HTML. Slash means put away the toy, whatever. So next we have head and slash head. Put the heading away. Title and slash title. Body and slash body. If you take out a toy, you put it away. An HTML document is split into two parts. There's the header, which will never appear on the web page. And the body, which is all the stuff that does appear on the web page. The header is used for the information that the browser needs to be able to control things in its own way. In this case, we're going to set the title to About Me. That title will appear in the heading at the top here and not on the web page itself. It's the title bar that gets changed, not the document on the screen. Now, as I mentioned, anything that I want to appear on the web page appears in the body. So here I'm going to type in my name is Andy Wicks and I teach HTML. Well, not too difficult. Let's see if that works. To check it out, all I have to do is to run this through a browser. So, this is the preview button, and if you have several browsers in your operating system, you'll have several browsers appear here. In my case, I've just got Internet Explorer, so I'm going to click on that, and up comes my name is Andy Wicks, and I teach HTML. Well, that was fairly easy. Now let's add in some stuff. Let's make Andy Wicks bold. So all I have to do is to choose the bold command from the drop down menu. Bold is just B. I know it's hard. And it automatically puts in the slash B, so I just move that to where I want the emboldening to finish. And there I am. Now here I'm going to have HTML underlined. You've probably guessed that to underline something is just U. And I can move the slash U to where I want it to go. And now if I run that through a browser, Andy Wix is in bold and HTML is underlined. HTML is that easy. If you can remember that if you take out a toy, you put it away, you've got HTML cracked. 
we're going to go through a lot more of these toys in the subsequent videos. But you've got to admit, it is fairly simple. <laughs>